Tom. Happy New Year, everybody! <laughs> Happy New Year! So I thought you were getting ready to enjoy it. That's okay. Hi guys, Happy New Year! Not the best start, no. not the best right. start. Today, we're doing something that's very rare from us. Are you ready for it? Drum roll, please. We are reacting to something we've actually watched! Ta-da! We've been getting a lot of beef, a lot of hate, a lot of sin towards us for reacting to things that we know nothing about. Where we're <coughs> just... no, no. Today we're reacting to something that we've already watched and that's how it should have been from the start. Yes. I think we misunderstood what a reaction video was. Like, we're, I, I really do. Isn't it like, aren't we now giving more of an opinion? We're reacting to Bly Manor. Yes. <laughs> Why do we go off on these tangents so much? Bly Manor, everyone. Bly Manor. You know what? To be I honest, I had no interest at the start. I wasn't, I was like, nah, like, not really interested. Mm -mm. And it has haunting in the title. I am shite with horror. I don't mind it. I'm a little spooked. I, I actually kind of, like, enjoy that. So, it's it's good. Anyway, yes, we, uh, we finally watched it and we finished it yesterday. Yeah, we last night. Yesterday. So this is very fresh. Why not relive the pain? I mean, Me? <laughs> it's a new year. Let's just start it off at the very bottom of the barrel because of course. we'll just we'll end up at the top by December shortly. That's that's the goal here. I mean, so yeah, start low, aim high. We're ready to go. Okay, Jump so. right into this. Oh my god, I don't want to have my heart broken. Is this gonna hurt? I think it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. The gardener did not even introduce herself to the new pair. She barely acknowledged her at all. We're gonna stop it right there real quick. Yep. Um, I have to talk about something because this is very important to me. The very opening clip here, where Jamie get, comes on screen right away, oh. I think the hair vibes for me were just a no-go. She looked like she kind of was in the garden. <laughs> you know, like actually I was like, okay, like I get it, Gardner, but like I just, for me, the opening scene, I was, I was just like, okay, like nice gal. Too realistic for you? Just a little. <laughs> I don't know, the hair just really gave me like, I don't know, vibes. You doing great. It was that conversation for me that made me start to like the gardener because she's all tough on the outside but mm -hmm. she's really mushy on the inside she and very is. soft and that's my type. I like the hard exterior that I have to chip away at to get in. Like me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you used to have a hard exterior. <laughs> no one would believe no, it though now. now. <laughs> yeah. We both needed to discuss this point because this That's was disgusting. the start where we actually see them suddenly having feelings for each other, yes, really. and show it. And what did you think to that? I'll be very frank, and it's okay for me to be this frank because I liked it in the end. I think there was so much hype around this amazing love story that when, when she did this, I was like, where's the romance? Like, this is happening like mm -hmm. a bit quick. There's no like slow burn that you're like, do it, do it, do it. It was literally like they had one conversation yeah. ever and suddenly went to the big hand grab and, and like snatched it from the air. Yeah. It was a bit much for me. And then what did she say? Something like, I should have known Poppins or something. <laughs> what was it? Something like that. I, but what is Scottish or Irish? <laughs> Who'd have thought? Wait, what is it? I said, no, no, no. Ready? Who'd have thought Poppins? Nope, that's no. Who'd have thought Poppins? Was that it? Close enough. So yeah, my starting vibe with this couple was quick and almost like, whoa, like I, I just wasn't ready for that yet. They weren't even super close. Okay, <laughs> me too. I felt you tense for the, the thing. Me too. Can I say how much better this is without the scary shit? It really is. It's a lot better because I, I, I couldn't handle that. I thought I was pretty good with the scare. No. Tiptoeing around the kitchen making awful coffee by yourself. Just to come say hi at six in the morning and then tickle the music. She kind of a bitch sometimes. I like it. I mean, it, it was kind of like rugged and hot a little, but I mean, I was also like, oh, like my feelings are hurt. Gotta keep things proper boring. You know that's you, don't you? That is our whole relationship. Gotta, got to keep, keep things, things proper boring. boring. Alvin, sweet. <laughs> You guys better give a thumb blast for that because that was hard work. I'm working up a sweat now. That was 
the first time that it really got to me, their relationship. After their whole talk and kind of knowing about Jamie's backstory mm -hmm. and understanding why she is the way she is, yeah. that's when the, the table started turning and I was, the hook was in the lip. Show me. <laughs> what I miss? <laughs> How do you miss? How do I miss my own mouth? Wee bit desperate, don't you think? I thought it was very typical lesbian. I thought it was gonna be like, well, you could come back with your whole family. To me, I actually really liked that moment and it made me like her way more. Should we talk about that from the lake? They didn't show it in here, but that thing, whatever that goddamn thing was, <laughs> I felt it deep in my soul. I thought Don't it was around. That's oh, not actually. Oh, Jesus. I oh, I be doing that it's with you. not in my soul. <laughs> no. That's what someone I would just, say with the demon in their soul. No. It's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. No. Right before this, she got <laughs> clotheslined by that ghost thing, right? Like, dragged away and stuff. It's so nice to see this develop without the jump scares and all the weird, crazy violins that build up all the tension and the creepiness. Yeah, because I felt like I couldn't open up my heart to them because everything in my body was so tense yes. And I was watching like this the whole freaking time I know you were watching like this and I was watching like this together We had quite the viewing experience. We did. Although I don't really I don't know why you'd cover your face when you could just cover your ears and watch Yeah, but you freaking plugged your thing for like nine episodes I feel like my arms would get tired because it's scary throughout every single episode. Well, I had to to save my life <laughs> Oh my god it just hit me. What? I know what I should have done. What? I should have worn my everyday E25 earbuds by Raycon. Yeah, you should have. Raycons are wireless earbuds that have six hours of playback time, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a compact design for a comfortable noise isolating fit. Emphasis on noise isolating for the damn ghosts. They come in a range of fun colors and patterns and are half the price of other premium brands out there. So you can look cute while being scared to death. Even Snoop Dogg is obsessed with Raycons, although I'm guessing he doesn't need them for Bly Manor. Raycon also has a 45 day free return policy, so if you guys want a pair of your own, you can click the link in our description or go to buyraycon.com forward slash Paige and Holly to get 15% off your purchase. Thanks Raycon. <laughs> Thanks Raycon! <laughs> Alright, back to the video. Days turn to months. The months to more. Right before the old pair knew it. A year had passed. Can we just talk about how they own a flower shop? I know! know. We, this is when we were in it and in it to win it at this point. I couldn't believe that they got this time. I really, really thought that It'd after quick. the demon got inside of her. Yes. It was gonna be like, all right, well, rest in peace. I don't know, like, this relationship is just gonna be a short little fling. I'm telling you, this is where it really took my heart and I completely changed my viewpoint on this relationship entirely. I've never seen a relationship long-term lesbian couple like this, so. Um, 100% agree with you. Like, they're like so domesticated now. I don't think I've ever seen a domestic lesbian relationship on TV. That's exactly my thoughts and that's why I think I love this mm. so much. I'm not sick of you. She looks so pretty there. May I say one other thing? I have yeah, a quick I'm point. I'm so happy right now. Okay, that was the cutest thing. Even though I desperately wanted like a scene, mm -hmm. I also respect why they didn't put a scene in. Yes. And the other thing I want to say is there is no way she would have waited a year to say I love you. I <laughs> She's begging her in the hallway after I the know. first one. Stay, stay, stay. I, I know. Is, so. is Danny really the one that would have said I love you first? Jamie, see, you're no better than everybody here who thinks we're sisters or twins. You mix them up. And they don't even look alike. Shame on you. <laughs> you are very intense today. You have a lot of energy. Go for a walk. One year became two. I love this Little scene. Team, it's spread into an endless time. So it seemed. <laughs> Three, four, five years would pass. And there was peace. We do that with our legs. 
And this is the domestic stuff that we don't really see. Yeah. Like, I loved seeing it. I've never really seen it like that before. This was my favorite. I thought this was the best scene in the whole show for me. The way that she did it with the plant and the root. <laughs> it was so perfect. I cried last night during this and I knew that I would probably cry today, but that was such a nice moment. And they didn't ruin it with any like cuts. I felt like they showed the perfect amount yeah. of everything. I uh, got something in my eye. <laughs> during this mm -hmm. moment. I thought they did a good job storytelling wise <laughs> showing the comparison between the Scottish guy, the douchebag, and him being selfish enough to take his yes with him and these two her or oh. <laughs> Danny loving Jamie enough to know not to take her with her. That mm -hmm. comparison is just crazy to show. That's what true love is. Leaving the only trace of who she once was in the memory of the woman who loved her most. didn't mean for this to turn into an emotional cry session here. This really has affected me and it's fresh wounds that have not had the time to heal. I thought it was amazing representation. I thought the actresses were awesome. I thought that the story was so tragically beautiful. I really loved it. I thought it was a really nice way to, to show an LGBT relationship in a positive way. Even if they did yeah. crush us, it was like an acceptable way to hurt us. I was just gonna say like, yes, it hurt so badly, but the moments that we got before it happened were so beautiful and yeah. they gave us way more time than I think anyone was expecting. Yeah. So I'm sad about it, yes. but I understand respectfully. Yeah, yeah. but it hurt. It was <laughs> So thank you for hurting us more. <laughs> yeah, no, it was beautiful. Uh, thank you guys for suggesting it. If you have any other suggestions of things we should react to, leave it down in the comment section. And don't forget to give it a good thumb blast for the cry sesh today. Um, that wasn't easy. I'm sorry, just before we go, we're getting back on a posting schedule. Yes. Yay. Thursdays at two, you can expect us here. Yeah. Okay, love you guys. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.